What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope everybody's having an amazing, lovely, perfect, beautiful, sunny day. Today is currently May... Alexa, what day is it? Today is Wednesday, May 27th. Wednesday, May 27th. And today is also the official, official start of my cut. I don't know if we're gonna call this I don't know, maybe oh. I should just call it Body by Brit. Summer shredding, I can't pull a Christian Goose bone here. We're, we're starting my cut. So, I will update you guys on the whole plan and everything else going on, but I thought I would just kind of spend the day with you, hang out with you, show you what I'm eating, give you a little physique update, and kind of let you know my plans to essentially get bikini ready for the summer. So if you have been following me for a while, I did start a series earlier in the year called Bulking with Brit, and I will do that in, you know, once my cut is over. Again, obviously I didn't continue with that series because quarantine started, I didn't have access to a gym for a long time, and I kind of just felt like an asshole, like, just stuffing my face with food on camera um, while there's quarantine going on and people were struggling. So I didn't go through with the bulk. However, I did like in my personal life go through with the bulk, I just didn't film it. So I am currently like 20 pounds up from where I was when I started that bulk. And now I am going into a cutting phase to kinda see what's underneath all of the weight I put on, you know? So I'm really, really excited about it and I will give you guys a physique update, my weight, I'll kind of tell you what I did for the bulk. Um, I've gotten so many questions on like, how did you gain this weight and how did how did you gain it that way? So I will go ahead and show you really quick um, if you're new here, kind of my transformation. So this right here is where I was this time last year just about, um, there's about two weeks between now and when this photo was taken last year. And then this is a photo that was taken yesterday morning. Um, and side by side, you can totally tell I have put on a lot of weight, but I've also put on a lot of muscle. I put on a weight in a healthy way and I've never done a bulk that is coached and that is clean, that I've like really, really followed what I'm supposed to do. So I'm really proud of myself um, for the progress that I've made. And I definitely want to share with you guys how I did it. I know there's a lot of girls out there that want to gain weight and, um, there's a lot that want to lose weight, but there's also a lot that want to gain weight and be happy with how they look and get curves and, you know, grow the little booty that you've always dreamed of. So I definitely am going to share with you guys in this video what I did to have a successful bulk. And yeah, that's about it. And otherwise, this is going to be the start of a very new and exciting series for me, which is my cut. So if you guys have any ideas for names, something other than lean with Shaheen or Shaheen lean or anything like that because I just don't like it. <laughs> but if you have any other ideas for a name for this series that you wanna leave down below in the comments, that would be amazing and we can, you know, call it something. But so far this is just gonna be like a Body by Brit episode one because we're working on a Body by Brit. Uh, and if you guys are interested in finding out how I went from point A to point B, then just keep watching. You ready to go on your walk? Yeah, you wanna go outside? Yes. Okay, I'll show you guys really quick my outfit because this is still available on Alphalete's website. So I have on the Revival um, biker shorts and these are in galaxy gray and I wear a size small. This is what they look like. Um, they are a bit longer than this. I just kind of like roll them up and like pull them up like this just because I like that length better. And then this is one of the tank tops that may or may not still be available on the site, I feel like. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the tank top that I'm wearing. And there's always an Alphalete link down in the description if you guys ever want to shop my outfits. This is all I ever wear, so. Now we're gonna take little Mila here on her walk and start getting my 10K steps in. So for every single day on this cut, I have 10K steps to get in. So one of the ways I do that is big ass long walk with Mila. Usually down this gigantic strip here, which she loves, I love, and I get my steps in. So you guys, I just wanted to show you my little morning routine here. I am actually going to be replacing my normal, I know, I can't believe I'm saying it either, my morning coffee with <laughs> a new Ghost product. So if you haven't heard of this product yet, it is called Ghost Gamer, and it is actually coming out today. So when you are seeing this, it is either out or it's about to be out. I'll put the times on the screen right here when it is launching on Thursday. So it's gonna be coming out in three different flavors, and this is the Ghost Sour Watermelon Warheads. It's coming out in the Sour Patch Red Berry, which you guys have seen in pre-workouts and other things. It's kind of funny that like my camera can't focus on this because it's like 
you know, a glitch because gamer. And then it's coming out in peach. This is my personal favorite flavor. You guys know I'm not like a massive sour fan, so this one is my fave. And I have been able to use the Ghost Gamer for kind of weeks now because if you didn't catch it on my Instagram, at Fit for Shaheen, you gotta be following it or you're gonna miss good stuff like this. Ghost did do free samples of the gamer about two weeks ago um, that you could like go online and just pay shipping and you got all of these samples. So this sample is actually the peach. So this is the one that I have been drinking for legit weeks now. And so it's not a pre-workout for those of you who have asked. It is literally meant to help you focus, to be productive. It gives you this really clean energy. Like there is no pre-workout peak and crash. Like I find that I work out at night, so I normally take my pre-workout, which, you know, do as I say, not as I do, um, around 6 p.m. Uh, and around 7, I totally peak on my pre-workout and then I kind of crash a little bit, like not hard, but I definitely like feel the come down from it before I go to bed at night, which works out well for me because I'm then tired and I can go to sleep. But with the gamer, you don't get that come down. It's this very like clean, energy this clean focus and especially for me working from home all of the time and for you guys who are still quarantined and you are working from home this could be an awesome product for you it just helps keep you focused and productive all day and my favorite time to drink this is normally i wake up in the morning and i go and i get my starbucks coffee which you know here i am saying that i'm gonna replace my coffee this morning with this but i think i might actually just have both I really want a cup of coffee, you know, don't judge me. Normally I will just have my coffee in the morning and then come like three o'clock um, of my work day, I start to crash a little bit and I get a little lazy and I'm like, oh, I wanna just watch Netflix and do nothing. And I kind of get in that mood. So I have been replacing a second cup of coffee or a Diet Coke or a Monster or something with the Ghost Gamer, just cause there's more natural, better for you ingredients in it. There is raw coconut, natural caffeine, vitamin B12, vitamin B6, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, lots of vitamins in here. So definitely a better option than a giant can of monster and um, it gives me just like that little boost that I need about halfway through the day without crashing and keeps me productive for the rest of my work day so if you guys are interested in getting any of those flavors then there's always a link down in my description for ghost products and you can use code Brit for 20% off anything um, and I think this is just really cool like something new and different to try so Definitely let me know if you guys decide to use my code so I can thank you. Um, but otherwise, we are going to just move right on and I'm gonna give you a little physique update and kind of talk you through what I have been doing on this book. So, I just got home. I went by PetSmart to get Mila some food. And of course, being the absolute sucker that I am and everything being on sale, I got her a whole bunch of toys. But like, honestly, how do you see toys like this and not get them for your dog? Like, this is a pink elephant, a little pig. I got her. This literally looks like a baby toy, but I think she'll love it. <laughs> um, and then this, like, light up. It's like a light up ball. And then I got her a bunch of treats. So, if you have a dog, everything is on sale at PetSmart and everywhere else right now. So, get going. I think this one will be her favorite though because it crinkles and it's so freaking cute. What do you think? <laughs> oh, does she like it? Is she a fan? I think she likes it. Honestly, Mila normally like destroys toys so I have to get her ones like that that have like ropes or like crinkly stuff on the inside so she can't wreck them. Do you like it? I guess I might as well show you guys this stuff too. I also picked up these curtains right here just for my bedroom. I'm replacing the ones that are in there now because A, I don't like them, and B, they are not big enough for like the actual room. And then I also got this little bag. This is so random, but this is from Kohl's. And I just think this is so cute. It's like a little shoulder bag. And also everything is on sale at Kohl's. So just got this little guy if I can open it. And I love it because you can just put your ID and like your credit card right here. And I didn't, wouldn't even have to like carry my wallet in this and it's just safe in there. So I thought this was really cute, grabbed that and I hate myself, but I jumped on the tie dye trend and honestly, they're really cute. You can't even lie. So finds for the day. Uh, so those are my finds for the day. And now I'm going to do a physique update for you guys so that you can see what I'm looking like post bulk. 
I'm a little thick thick. People are calling me thick these days, which honestly I think was like one of my life goals and I didn't even know it was until it started happening. And I don't mean like thick, I mean like thick, you know? So that's where I'm at. So let's do a physique update. Um, and then I will just start talking to you guys about, you know, the bulk and what I'm doing and what I have done. Okay, so little physique update for you guys. I will try to put my original physique update from when this all started on this side of the screen and just show you kind of where I am at. So I am currently 137.3 pounds. I am five foot six, almost five foot seven. And at the start of this, I believe I was about 119. Um, so I'm like just under a 20 pound gain here. And you should probably be able to see the difference. I will stand up straight for the haters out there. <laughs> So yeah, this is pretty much where I am at. I am feeling literally stronger than I ever have in my life. Um, and you know, I'm not gonna lie, like gaining weight can be a bit difficult, but you know, it can also be great too. <laughs> so as far as what I did for the bulk, I'm gonna kind of go through like my top tips, what I did, what I changed, um, and yeah, and hopefully answer any of the questions that you guys had about like, how did I gain weight and how did I gain it where I did and everything else. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit on the floor here in my living room. Um, this just feels comfortable to me right now, so I hope that's okay with you guys. But yeah, basically, like I said, I have put on nearly 20 pounds now, and that is really weird for me. It's definitely hard for me. I have never been this heavy in my life, and for my height, honestly, being 130, 140 pounds, like, it's absolutely average. Like, it's totally normal to be this weight. I just genetically have quite a small build, uh, so it has always been quite hard for me to put on weight. Now, the only other time that I weighed this that I remember was um, probably 2018, I'm gonna say, and I will insert a picture of what I looked like at this weight. And that was like a time in my life where I was working a corporate job, I was eating out all of the time, like all of the time. I was traveling a ton for work, I wasn't getting my workouts in, I wasn't watching what I ate, like I just wasn't really taking care of myself. Um, mentally, I wasn't in a good place, and that is what, you know, 140 pounds looks like on me then. And like you just saw, this is what it looks like on me now. So I am so proud of myself. Um, and kind of the big pieces that made this whole weight gain really different for me and this bulk different for me than it has ever been is that A, I had a coach, um, that is huge. So if you are somebody who's trying to put on lean muscle and not gain a ton of fat in the process and it's not something that you feel like you can manage on your own, then absolutely hire a coach. Um, if you would like me as your coach, Body by Brit is available for new clients right now if that is something that you would like to do. And I do have a lot of the BBB girls that have been on a lean bulk and are now going into a cutting phase for the summer. Uh, and it's been awesome. My camera died there. But having just that structure makes such a massive difference and for me it absolutely did so I'm somebody who operates better with accountability and I know a lot of people are that way so even though I am a coach I got myself a coach so through the beginning of my prep I did work with team LRF which I announced in a video um, a while back that you guys probably saw and that was at the start of my bulking with Brit series since then I have actually changed coaches nothing against LRF it just turned out that my coach being in a UK time zone and me in Eastern time zone and that five hour difference and his schedule and my schedule just didn't work out well and it was really really hard for us to communicate and hard for me to get my questions answered um, and I just wasn't getting like responses in the time that I needed to get them in I guess so I just moved forward from that and I'm actually now working with Hustle Harder. So Hustle Harder is coached by Kerrigan Pike and Brandon Gies, and they're actually based out of Houston, and they're two people that I know and respect and adore, and they're amazing, and they've just done really, really amazing things so far with their team, and I'm super excited to be coached by them. They're very on it. We're not in different time zones, so that is really helpful. So I'm super excited to go into the season next year with them, and that is also something I should touch on, is that I am not going to be competing in 2020. So. As you guys know, I am recently 
single and you know on top of that plus the pandemic plus shows being pushed back a million years and like all of the uncertainty around competing i just want to take 2020 for me i want to travel and not be worried about prep and like freaking out about my food and you know not being able to go places with my friends i don't want to like prep for 12 weeks and then have my show get pushed back and then it end up being a 24 week prep that i don't need and quite frankly i don't want to potentially risk my health i'm just nervous obviously coronavirus is a very real thing when you're on a competition prep it puts your body in like a survival mode state and it's not its strongest and it makes your immune system quite weak to lose all that weight and to treat your body that way and i don't want to make myself susceptible this year to um, a disease like that i'm just really nervous so so there are a lot of different things, a lot of reasons why I'm not going to compete, but it actually works great because I had a really successful bulk this year. I'm going into a cut now, like I mentioned, so I can, you know, just feel good in a bikini this summer and be ready for that. And then I will do another bulk going into 2021. And my plan for 2021 is to actually compete in the spring, um, a bit earlier in the year rather than the later shows. So I have a couple months of the off season next summer, and then I can hopefully compete in nationals next year. So that is my plan. Of course, since I'm not doing a competition prep series, I'm gonna do this cutting series for you guys so that you can kind of see what I do and how I do it. I didn't wanna like miss out on that even though I'm not gonna be competing. So thank you to so much to everybody who wanted me to compete this year and supported that uh, and everything else. And I promise 2021, I'm just gonna come back better and stronger and it's gonna be amazing. So let's get into the bulk. So as far as what I did, it's honestly not so complicated. Um, I feel like there's tons of questions around it, but it is not that crazy. So some of the most common questions I'm getting question one, how did you gain weight and gain muscle and not just gain a whole bunch of fat? Um, and that comes down to, I slowly increased my calories. So in the, I think 18 weeks that I did this bulk, I increased my calories weekly. So they slowly went up. It was never like a giant crazy jump um, that was gonna potentially cause like a crazy jump in weight gain. And I was eating a lot of food. And I mean a lot of food. So I'm talking like upwards of 300 carbs per day, um, over 2,500 calories, a lot of food. And I am not going to sit here and say like, oh, it was awesome, I was stuffing my face, I was eating whatever I wanted, because I wasn't, that wasn't it. Um, it was very structured. I had a meal plan the first 12 weeks of this bulk and only for about the past six, I have been counting macros. I felt really bloated all the time, which was just hard for me. Like I didn't feel great. There were a lot of times when I just felt like gross and not good, but I had to just keep reminding myself what my long-term goal was. And that goal to put on muscle and be ready for my next competition season far outweighed um, a bit of discomfort. And that's kind of what prep and goals are about, are if you're willing or not to put in the work temporarily, if it means that you're gonna reach your goals in the long run. So that's really what I did. So I ate a lot of food, and by that I mean I didn't skip out on my meals. So this wasn't like I ate my oats and there was three bites left and I didn't finish them because I wasn't hungry. Because I wasn't hungry. I have very poor hunger cues. All right, Mila, girl, you gotta go. I have very poor hunger cues. So I held myself accountable and I literally have a note thing in my phone where I would check off meal one, two, three, four, five, six throughout the day to literally remind myself to eat and to hold myself accountable for it. I cannot tell you the amount of times I sat at my kitchen counter and I was like, Brittany, you're not going to the gym until you finish this pre-workout meal. And I would sit there for 45 minutes with food in front of me making myself eat it because I knew that I had to get the calories in and because I knew I wanted to reach this goal. And these are healthy calories. So it was a very quite basic diet, but honestly, like it's not rocket science to, to reach your goals. You can count your macros, but at the time, I think after the breakup, since I was really struggling anyway, uh, it was good for me to be on a meal plan because it just told me what to do. I didn't have to think about it. I didn't have to stress about it. It was just there for me every day. And I ate those meals. So if you're somebody that is on a lean bulk and you have a goal in mind, eating your meals during a bulk is just as important as eating your meals on a cut like it is no different it's the same long-term goal in mind so that is the biggest thing you've got to be committed to getting those meals in and to eating healthy meals and I had two cheat meals a week during this and then as far as my training goes this goes hand in hand with your bulk I was training hard literally harder than I ever have and in my last video I said that all the love I poured into somebody else I started to pour into myself and I did that and a lot of that came through my training when I was in the gym I was reminding myself like hey, you have all this energy now, you have all of this like 
anger and sadness and all these things in you like put it into your workouts make them worth it reach that goal like not to say that i feel like i got like a revenge body but i feel like in so many words i really poured all of my energy into that and it paid off i mean it absolutely paid off and I have never trained so often and so hard in my life as I have over the past few months. Training hard and heavy. Like I was pushing myself. I wasn't going through the motions. I was really, really working. And for me, that meant I literally had memberships at three different gyms just to like keep me motivated, keep me going. I tried a yoga class one day. I tried to do some different things here and there just to, to keep me in it and to not burn myself out. And honestly, when you're on a bulk, your strength goes up. And for me, that is super motivating because every week I was going to the gym and I was gaining strength which was really really exciting and just kept me wanting to go more and more so those are the two main things you have to eat your meals and you have to train like you mean it and off season doesn't mean like lay around miss a workout it's not as important as like your stairmaster session when you're on prep like no like it is just as important to take your off season seriously or you're not going to see results and as far as the next question that i got most often is how did you not gain fat in all the places that you didn't want to now i'm not going to sit here and say that i didn't gain fat because of course i gained fat when you're in a bulking phase and you're trying to gain muscle you are going to gain fat as well it's inevitable you're eating more calories you're not burning off as many calories as you are consuming which is the goal in order to gain weight right and as far as just not gaining it where I didn't want to, like I did gain weight in my waist. Like my stomach is thicker than it ever has been. My legs are thicker than they have ever have been. I did gain fat in my glutes and in other places and my boobs definitely gained fat there because they are not usually this size, I will tell you that. So it's just inevitable. You have to know that that's part of what comes with it. And as far as like the bloating goes and like gaining weight in my stomach, again, I was eating healthy, clean foods. Like I wasn't eating pizza to get my calories in uh, five times a week. You know, I limited myself to one or two times a week. So I never felt like restricted or like I couldn't go and hang out with my friends. I just saved those cheat meals for when I was gonna be doing something social or when I, you know, needed it and wanted to do something. It's just a sacrifice. So you kind of decide if your goals are bigger than what you want in the moment right now. However, that is also a genetic thing. I don't hold a ton of weight in my waist. I hold the majority of my weight in my like thighs, in my glutes. Uh, that's just how I have always held it. That's the last place that fat comes off of me. It kind of just depends on the person. Some people literally hold no weight in their waist, which would be a freaking dream, but you know, it just is what it is. And that's part of it. And you just have to learn to accept your body in its many stages. And for the bloat, I will say, and this isn't like, oh, let me put a plug in there. During my bulk is when the Ghost Greens product came out and I noticed a massive difference in my digestion because I got to the point, like after my carbs were up above 300 grams of carbs a day, I was struggling with my digestion and I was trying really hard to get fiber in and like I still was like in pain. Like I would have actual stomach pain because I wasn't digesting my food properly because I think it was just so much so many carbs and it was just like a lot of food for my my body so uh when the greens came out i started taking them daily sometimes twice a day if i was having a hard time and they really really regulated my digestion and made a huge difference for me in that sense so just keep that in mind like that's kind of i guess like a side effect of adding a ton of calories just you know be weary of monitoring your digestion and kind of what's going on there hope that answers those questions and then i guess as far as the big question that i got is like did you struggle with the weight gain how did you like stay positive and keep going and I will say like I was not positive every single day I was having a hard time as it was and then gaining weight and not feeling like I looked good and my clothes not fitting that was not awesome for me it was hard but again like the temporary discomfort is worth it for me for the long-term goal and I tried to keep that in the back of my mind now don't get me wrong there were days where I was like, I look huge. I look like I have these big arms and I'm bloated and I look like I'm six weeks pregnant. And like I had times probably for the first time in my life that I really talked down to myself about my body. Like I'm not somebody now, don't get me wrong when I was a teenager, I did. But now in my life, I don't look at my body and like pick it apart too badly. I think I just really learned after my eating disorder way back when that um, that's not something that I can do mentally. It's not good for me. And my bulk ended when I caught myself doing that. I caught myself in the mirror being like, I look disgusting. I don't even want to look at myself. I don't want to go to the gym. I started wearing joggers to the gym because there were days that I was feeling just like crap. And I was like, I don't even want to put on a pair of leggings. like. And I was struggling. So obviously I'm not like posting all the time online about the days where I feel like I look like trash, you know? Um, and I was just focusing a lot on like trying to not talk down to myself. So if I put on a pair of leggings that 
I didn't like how they looked or I was like, oh my God, you look six weeks pregnant in this. You've got to take them off. I would just be like, don't do that, Brittany. Go put on something that you're comfortable in. Go put on something that you feel good in. And that's what I did. So if that meant I put on joggers or if it meant I put on, you know, just a different pair of leggings that I felt better in, then I did that. And I didn't put pressure on myself to feel bad about those things. It's hard when your favorite clothes don't fit you and you look at yourself in a bathing suit and you don't feel good. And I was going out on the boat on the weekends with my friends and I wasn't feeling good in a bathing suit. I'm still not feeling good in a bathing suit. And that's just something that you kind of battle with and it is a bit hard, but I have also learned to love my body in this stage. Like there are benefits, you know, the girls are a little bigger, the glutes are a little thicker and I'm enjoying that. I may not love how leggings look on me all the time because of my waist, but I love, I love how high-waisted jeans look on me right now. And you know, when I'm lean and I lose some of this weight, I may not like it as much. So there's always going to be times in your life and like in your journey, especially with fitness, that you're just going to like things and not like things. And it's just part of it. And you have to learn to just accept your body and love it for where it is and where it's going. And that is the key is when I had my days that were bad, I was like, you know, you don't feel awesome right now, but just think how you're gonna look on stage. And when I would look at myself in the mirror and feel like, oh my God, you look big, you look gross. I would picture myself in my competition suit on stage with shredded delts and visible biceps and like tight glutes. And just like, I tried to just envision what I look like underneath the weight gain and just know that, that it's worth it in the long run for me. So that is kind of all I did, you guys. I upped my food and I lifted heavy and I took it seriously and I didn't fuck around in the gym. It was the first time my life that I did that and the results speak for themselves so if you do like if you're somebody that does want to put on weight and you need help please feel free to dm me um on my instagram or feel free to go to my website which is always down in the description below and we can totally talk about your goals and what you want to do whether that's a cut for the summer or a bulk i'm really really excited to kind of see what i have now and see what i'm gonna look like lean i'm not trying to get competition lean what lean i would like to be if i was like four weeks out from a show just so i feel really good in a bathing suit and i'm just confident and i can kind of see what i'm capable of and i like the challenge of a cut you know, I actually really enjoy that. So I hope you guys are going to be following along for the journey with me on this cut. And I promise when I go back into a bulking phase, I will record and document the whole thing so that you guys can keep track with me and kind of see exactly what it is I do. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out, leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to know. And as far as future videos, during this cut, please let me know what you want to see. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing lots of full days of eating and the gyms for me open back up in one week, which is crazy. So I will actually be able to go to a gym and record my workouts for you guys and keep you updated on my cardio and everything else that I'm doing to make this cut happen. That is gonna be all. If you like this video and you're looking forward to the series, then please give me a little thumbs up if you don't mind and subscribe if you're not already. So I will see you guys later this week. Thank you for watching. I love you so, so much and I will see you in the next one.